All right, guys. Welcome back to the third Cooking with Nico episode. Would you believe that we're already at three? I, I mean, if if I didn't know that and and any better, I, I I would say I'm high, but I I'm not. I I mean I don't I, I don't think I am. I just really cannot believe that we're at three episodes now. So um to, to celebrate the third episode of Cooking with Nico, I'm gonna be making a very special soup. Now this is a soup that my grandmother's grandmother would make for me when when she was still alive. Uh, she's she's dead now. I I, I think um, I have I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, she is dead. I was not invited to her funeral. Anyway, we're gonna be making this soup. So it, it's it's a very good soup. It's apple soup. So the main ingredients are going to be apple juice and various fruits to put inside the soup. It's like a fruit soup. It's very special actually. Now. Uh, as I always say, you always want uh, expired foods because it adds flavor and it boosts your immunity system to viruses I, or something like that. I read something similar to that somewhere. Uh, and anyway, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how true that is, but I, I sure hope it's true because I have my kidney is messed up and I, I need... I need to be, um, you know, immune to all this stuff. So, hopefully, this works out well. Let's see, this expired um, July thirteenth, twenty fifteen, and this too. So nice and expired. We're just gonna go ahead and start making the. Oh my God, that's one of the worst things I've ever smelled in my life. Just gonna, you know, start making the soup. Now you can add a third, uh, I, I don't know what this is, like a gallon? No, this is six, 64 ounces, that's, that's like, what, like, two gallons, right? So you, you can add more, is, is what I'm trying to, to say here. But because of the size of my bowl, I don't have much more for this, so I think that I'm just going to leave this as is. Um, and make a smaller portion of soup, but if you want to be able to to, 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 to feed uh, more more than one person, then put in uh, more more uh, ap apple juice, of course. So now let's see. I forgot all of my utensils. I'm an idiot. Uh, I really am just very stupid. So I'm gonna grab some utensils real quick. Oh my god! Got a cutting board, big old knife. You can you know, get people with it, uh, allegedly, you can allegedly get people with it. Now, one thing I found, this disgusting apple, th this is one of the worst looking apples I've ever seen, not the worst. Uh, the worst looking apple that I that I have ever seen my mom tried to give me once for lunch. Anyway, so we're, we're, we're just going to take this, we can play a little game too, we like that game where you, uh, where the thing goes flying around and you need to try and chop it. It's a pretty fun game, so let's see how, how this goes. Not, not very well. That's... Oh my god, it's starting to break open on the top. That just looks really gross. I'm going to put this out of its misery. Oh, there it goes again. So yeah, you just want to keep chopping up the... Um, keep chopping up the apple. Oh my god, I don't want to touch this. Look at that. It's, it's like pink inside. That's really gross. Oh, there's dust coming off of it too. That's fun. Um, this goes like into the core of the apple, this disgustingness. One want to be the poor soul that has to eat this. Oh, that actually is in fact me. It smells real bad. It smells like um, if, if you go to a house that was built like 120 years ago, like if you go to buy a house and it was built around that time, it smells like that. Pretty gross. Here's a lemon. It's kind of, you know, it's got a, a cut right there. Uh, it must be an, uh, an angry teenager. Uh, it's got some green spots, so we're, we're just going to cut this up too. Uh, lemons are actually hard to... Well, lemons are hard to cut, and they have a defense mechanism uh, when you cut them. They squirt lemon juice at you. 
Watch out for that. That's that's a good tip. That's a good tip. Watch out for the lemon juice. Oh, hey, I got it. Oh, okay, here goes some of the broth. Wow, lemon sink. Wait, no, no, they don't. Something just sunk in there. I, I, I didn't see what it was. Okay, next. Hubba bubba. Guess the good part is we can just go. Ah, hubba bubba sinks. Didn't know that. I thought that would float, but no, lemons do. Lemons float. Okay. That's fun. So now we're going to get one of the most important ingredients. Uh, the second most important, use one of these, we're going to go get some toilet water, so we'll be right back with that. Okay, so I'm back with the toilet water. Okay. <coughs> Gotta sprinkle some of that in. It's not really sprinkling it in as much as it is, you know, like pouring it, but we can call it whatever we want. We're in magic land right now. So now I'm going to light this. This is my my Juan Pablo II candle. And we need to get a, a drop of holy wax from this candle in here. And that's what's really going to give it all of its flavor. It's one of the most, it, it's the most important ingredient you can have in any meal. Holy candle wax from a Juan Pablo II candle. So I'm going to bring this backstage. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm too lazy to actually light it, uh, also because the wick is burnt out, so I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take a hair dryer, I'm, I'm gonna heat this up, and then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pour in the appropriate amount of wax. So now this step, a, a lot of fun, you, you, you might burn your hands a little, not sure, I'm also not sure if you can even hear me, and just keep going, you know, Getting in there and hopefully this wax will start, you know, coming down. Definitely uh, starting to melt a little. Starting to look like there's water in there. That, that's not water though. That's the wax melting. Might take a little while. Oh, oh, oh. The holy wax. Here it is. There we go. The holy wax is in the bowl now. And now we just wait a full 200,000 486 point one one seven days it sounds like a long time but trust me it's worth it because when this is done mm, it's amazing so i'm gonna go put this in <laughs> that kind of smells bad <laughs> so i'm gonna go and leave this in the sink while uh, i allow it to you know properly set oh that's kind of heavy So, you know, we, we wait that amount of time, and then when we come back, it'll all be good. The meal is finally done. So now, let's get our soup and taste it. Time to crack open a cold one with the boys. I swear the soup tastes better every time. I really cannot get enough of this stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, come back for the next episode whenever that happens. We don't have a schedule for this show. We're very inconsistent with this. But, come back when it happens.